When the going gets tough, the tough gets going. How old is that saying? I really have no effing idea. Things may be tough right now, but I'll tell you one thing. I will still keep going. And I will continue to do this, okay? So Jaguars and fans of Catfish, the TV show, welcome to another epic installment of Catfish, the review. Ralph Jaguar here. And you all already know that this is brought to you by Ralph J. Images. The copyrighted brand name that is bringing you epic web shows and web series. One after the next. And in this, in this installment right here, I will be discussing and critiquing this week's episode of Catfish, the TV show. So, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Alright Jaguars and fans of Catfish, the TV show. In this episode of Catfish, the TV show, um, we have the story of Ashley and Mike. And as Neve puts it, we may have a situation of double catfish. Double catfish. Yeah. Ashley met Mike in a chat room seven years ago. That's right. Seven years ago, Mike and Ashley met in a chat room and they fell in love with, with each other. And... <clears throat> And Ashley had been photoshopping herself in her pics in order to look thinner and better. And she sent those pictures to Mike. And as of as of this point as of this point right here, you know, they have yet to meet. Yeah, seven years is definitely a long time. You know, that's a few years short of a decade. Yeah, they're you know they were very young when they met. Um, they probably met, you know, for the well, they probably met each other for the first time on, uh, you know, MySpace. But but of course we all know that everything now it's all about Facebook and such. But but however, you know. Throughout the seven years that they have been, you know, communicating with each other via texting, chat rooms, and, and the phone calls, you know, they have yet to meet in person. And Ashley, you know, has been, yeah, see right here, I put, you know, quotes around the photoshopping. Because uh, she's been doing stuff to her pictures to make herself look thinner and sending them to Mike, you know because she because she wants to look better and also it's also the obvious you know insecurities about herself that she's been having and you know there's an awful lot of that going on on this whole effing planet not to mention this whole show right here and you know, and she feels like she has known Mike for for so long, and because of that, you know, she has fallen in love with him. And so the reason why she's calling in even Max is because she wants to know if Mike is who he says he is. And and of course, you know, she also wants Mike and Neve. Well, yeah, she also wants Neve and Max to go ahead and arrange that meet if possible. So let's see who this uh, Mike person is. Okay, hold on a second. Before we see who Mike is, I do have to say this right here is kind of a twist. You know, the catfisher has contacted Neve and 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 Max because 
after seven long years, you know, Ashley decides that she wants to come clean to Mike. Okay. So yeah, now the catfisher is coming to us. <laughs> yeah, I think that is a first. Or maybe one of a first. Okay, so let's go ahead and see this uh, Mike guy right here. Okay, now here's the thing. Um, for five years, you know, Ashley has has been talking and communicating with, uh, you know, Mike. He has not sent a picture to Ashley. Okay, only two years ago has has a. Uh, Mike decided to send Ashley some pictures. Mike sent Ashley, you know, three pics. And here's the first one. That's right, this is uh, Mike's uh, first pic right here. And here is the rest of Mike's uh, chest right here. <clears throat> Yeah, okay. I guess he looks pretty fit here. Now, here is the second pic that Mike sent to Ashley about himself. And here's the third of uh, Mike's uh, pick here. I don't know about you Jaguars and you other fans of Catfish the TV show. Call me crazy or off, but I think each one of these picks that Mike sent to Ashley, they're all different. I mean, the first, second, and third, they're all different. Yeah, this is no doubt about it. This is no doubt a huge, huge red flag. And that's why Neve went ahead and went on and started calling this the double catfish. Because, of course, right off the bat, you know, Ashley was not being completely honest with Mike. But check it out, Jaguars. There may be a chance that Mike isn't really being honest with Ashley in turn. Ah, damn. All right, so it's time for Neve and Max to start investigating this. And right off the bat, they want to start with image search. This is Mike's uh, first pick here. And they find nothing. Yeah, they put that image right there through image search and found nothing. But I'm not sure if that really means anything. Because that just means that, you know, Mike was using a rare photo or something. Okay, so let's do image search for Mike's uh, second pick here. And let's see what happens. And nothing for this one. Yeah, image search could not find anything for this pick. Because I will tell you that I'm assuming that whenever Max and Neve do image search for picks, you know, it's supposed if it's if it exists on the computer or anywhere on the web, <clears throat> you know, it's supposed to go to the source, I imagine. So now, Neve and Max, you know, traced uh, Mike's phone number, and they found his sister. And at this point, you know, Neve um, suspected that, you know, that Mike could have, you know, faked this one too. But of course, that wasn't the case. Check it out.
Yeah, they they found the location of Mike and Gina. It's in New Jersey, Pasca Cataway. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And here is Gina's Facebook profile, which is private. Okay, nothing wrong with that, understandable. If you are trying to hide. And they traced uh, Mike's email and they found this pic right here. And check out what they find. I gotta say, you know, the pic here, um, when I first saw this, you know, when I first saw the episode, you know, I couldn't, it wasn't, the picture was, really wasn't, really wasn't clear. I mean, I thought this, this was some headless guy <laughs> here. Yeah, please forgive me for thinking that. But yeah, but now that I blew it up, you know, now what we have here is a body, you know, a guy here, um, and his face is being covered by either a box or a beer box, okay? <laughs> yeah, it was kind of creepy when I first saw it. I was like, oh man. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I, I thought, you know, it would be disturbing, but, you know, I guess not. But his face is being hidden, so. Yeah, definite red flag and and it's most definite proof that, you know, the pics that Mike sent to, you know, Ashley were not him. Ah, oh, damn. One of, another one of these, eh, Jaguars? On Facebook, you know, Neve did send Gina a message in order to call him back because, you know, he has questions about Mike. And Gina did call him back. And right here, you know, Gina is on the phone with Neve. And 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 Neve is asking questions about Mike. But it doesn't look like she wanted to go into details, you know, about about certain things about Mike, you know. Because Neve did ask, you know, Gina about his physical, you know, physique. You know, does he have the chiseled bod? And... Gina just refused to answer that question. So that right there, I mean, not even a red flag. I mean, it, it just confirms it, you know, to me that the person in the pictures is not Mike. Yeah, there's definitely something going on. Hot damn. And now, hours later, you know, Mike called Neve. That's right, Mike called Neve. Okay, and and they talked. Okay, and and the fact that Mike called Neve, you know, it's not really, you know, odd or strange. I mean, I think we're used to that by now, don't you think? But yeah, they did talk, and you know, and Neve did tell Mike that you know. That he did his investigation and he found out that you know the the pictures were the pictures that you know Mike sent to Ashley were not real you know that was pretty obvious and Mike you know did confirm that okay and then but but here's the kicker though Mike he said on the phone here and I remember him saying this he said that Ashley he figured that Ashley would be smart enough to figure out that that's not really him. And I'm like, well, that's still no excuse for you to, you know, lie and grab a pick and, and you know, fake who you are. Because Ashley did, she actually believed that, you know, that was Mike in the pictures. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense to me. You know, by him saying that. I mean, what the F? What? <laughs> I mean, what's that all about? Mm -hmm. And then when Neve asks, you know, Mike, you know, 
for a meet, you know, right here in this conversation, you know, Mike said he would have to think about it. I'm like, okay, uh, well, think about it real soon, but uh, yeah, think about it quick because, you know, it's been seven years, might be that time, you know. All right, fans, you know what part of the show this is, right? This is the part where Neve and Max tells the client about what they found. Yeah, now Neve and Max are telling Ashley about what they found. And guess what? Ashley is pissed, pissed to the max. She started throwing things. She started going into a fit of rage. Uh, no, no. No, I'm just playing around. No, no, no. She didn't do that. She didn't do any of that. <laughs> now, I guess that joke didn't really go too well. Um, no, but, but really, though, on the real, uh, you know, they did tell, you know, Ashley about what they found out about Mike. And, and she's not happy about it. She is a little upset. But Ashley is surprisingly taking it well. Maybe it's because that she lied in the first place, you know, about who she was and, and about her pictures, you know, photoshopping it and all. So I guess she's taking it well that, you know, that Mike, you know, just grabbed three pictures and sent them to her and just pretended to be these other chiseled, you know, guy, or should I say guys, Ugh. I mean, three different pics. Oh jeez. People, if you're going to lie, can you at least try to, I don't know, lie correct or maybe do a little better at it? Other than that, just tell the truth. Jeez. Because this situation right here is kind of complicated, you know. So I really think that, you know, there's, there's only one, one other thing to do now. And you all know what part of the show this is, right? Oh, please don't tell me that you don't know. You've been watching this series long enough. You know what's going to happen now. Jeez. Okay, right now, you know, Neve has already contacted Mike. And they are on their way to meet, you know, Big me, yeah, Big Mike, um, I hope I'm not giving away the ending too soon. And, uh, you, pr and here they are in the car. Now, I know you probably can't see him, but yeah, that's Max in the background. But of course, you can't see him now. And that's thanks to my genius, you know, editing job right there. Yeah, because I didn't want to. I didn't want to leave Max out. You know, I wanted y'all to be able to identify him. And of course, that's Ashley riding shotgun, and we got Neve the man there. And they're and they're on their way to meet the real Mike. That's right. We finally get to meet this Mike guy that Ashley thinks so highly of. O M G. Aren't you excited, Jaguars and fans of this effing show? Because I most certainly am. OMG. Alright. So, will the real Mike please stand up and give Ashley a hug? And here he is. Here's the real Mike, and he's giving Ashley a hug, just like I requested. Damn, that is so big of him. No pun intended. That's right, here is Mike, the real Mike. Not the guy in the pictures, but the real Mike. Now, Mike says that the reason why he lied and use face fake you know pics because he was afraid that Ashley would not give him a fair chance so it's the typical basic you know insecurities um, probably not liking his image and all that I mean I don't mean to be rude but you know 
it's just sounding like a broken record to me I mean because I've been watching this series and following it you all know I have and and these guys who are faking who they are and all that you know yeah using picks from other places that they find but but in this case you know Mike must have used some rare photos of guys that we don't know about because even Max could not find them with uh, image search but still you know as you can see right here he's not he doesn't have these six-pack abs or anything like that you know he's just the average guy you know yeah you know he's he just you know regular bod I mean but still okay I mean you know but still you know he lied about his image he lied image wise but then again so did Ashley you know Ashley also you know lied about herself in a way so lie here lie there lies everywhere lie 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 so many lies and the immortal words of Rowdy Roddy Piper I haven't heard this many lies since I was telling them. OMG. So many la la lies. I'm tired of the lies, aren't you? Okay, so about 24 hours later, you know, Ashley had to go home and think it over in her. You no, know, she didn't go home, but she went to her hotel room. And, and you know, she had to seek advice and talk, talk things over with her. Uh, Neve and Max and she was debating over whether or not she was ready to get into a relationship because because for seven years you know she had been lying to Mike photoshopping her herself in her pictures to make herself look thinner and better and just now you know she's coming out and being herself and coming out into the world you know and not lying to herself or or to anyone else and she's debating over whether or not she is you know ready for a relationship but in turn you know Mike also lied and used some other pictures that were not of himself so I don't know if this is a matter of which lie was worse you know Mike said that yeah, Mike used three completely different pictures. Uh, I don't know where he got that from. Or maybe he got it from a catalog or something. I don't know. But Ashley, she photoshopped her pictures. You know, but Mike, but then again, back to Mike, Mike didn't even put any effort into his. He just went and got them from somewhere, so... Wow, this this looks like this this could be a great relationship yet. <laughs> yeah, some relationship, huh? Relationship based on lies. <laughs> yeah, sounds like it. I mean, I don't know, sounds like it's going to work out great. <laughs> I mean so so at this point right here you know um you know Ashley just had to you know not get into a relationship with Mike just yet because she wasn't sure about where to go she would need more time to think I guess I mean I mean how much more time does she need I mean you lied he lied you both lied I mean sounds like a perfect sounds like a perfect match to me jeez so they had to leave it at that at that point and you know it was real and I guess it was real sad for Mike and Ashley to say goodbye because they weren't really sure if they were gonna you know see each other but of course I don't have to tell you that because you saw the show you saw the episode you so you know what happened okay Okay, so 
about two months later when they stopped taping this episode um they decided to try to do things without the cameras which is nice but dang on it we don't get to see it hot damn well anyways two months later you know Ashley did decide to give Mike a second chance since she has given herself a second chance you know not being afraid of who she is and and you know just stop letting those dang gone insecurities beat her down so Ashley went to visit Mike and it looks like they're going to give it a try or give it another try this time in person and not on a chat room or texting on the phone and and most certainly not on a god dang on computer they probably spent too much time on a computer anyway probably more than I do and trust me Jaguars that is scary so yeah they're going to give it the good golly old try and in a sense we do get a happy ending okay so Neven Max another job well done very good guys in fact pretty epic So, whose lie was worse? Was it Ashley who was photoshopping her pictures and passing them off as herself, you know, and then sending them to Mike? Or is it Mike who took three completely different pictures and passed it off as himself and then sent them to Ashley? Double catfish indeed double catfish Neve hit the nail right on the head OMG you know that's why this show is so popular okay because there's always something new some kind of twist I mean just when you think it's going to be the same old same old but unfortunately something new and uncanny just seems to occur I mean this thing about someone pretending to be someone else to reel someone into an online relationship it goes around a lot but in this episode it was the catfisher who contacted Neve and Max because she wanted to come clean to the guy that she was in love with for seven years and Ashley was worried about Mike's reaction because Ashley was not being completely honest but in turn, Mike wasn't really being honest himself. So, that's a whole lot of dishonesty right there. And then, like I said earlier in this installment, um, you know, they, both Mike and Ashley are having, you know, insecurities about themselves because issues with their image and and come on Jaguars I mean we've seen this lots of times throughout this whole series throughout this whole series I mean everybody everybody is just having issues about how they look and but the thing about it is is you know first of all you have to be who you are and you know that's all you can do and be thankful for what you have most definitely and also you know and if you do have insecurities about your image and how you look you know pretending to be someone else does not help the situation at all I mean there's, there's lots of ways and there's lots of things you can do to improve your image you know and how you look I mean you know you can try some exercises you know I mean I mean that 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 will definitely help you know help your image and your self-esteem more importantly but the bottom line is, you know, you have to be thankful for what you have and and you have to be what you are, you know. Tell the truth, 
be who you are, you know. That's the thing to do. Yeah, be yourself. I mean, that is the only way to go. So I'm going to end it right here. Thank you all for watching this. Peace out. Till later.